Hi everyone, this is Craig Robertson from uh, Innovation Plaza um, with IEEE at UNM. And uh, I'd like to go over some basic uh, principles in uh, ones and twos complement and then the sign and magnitude um, representation of numbers. So at the top there I have an unsigned binary number um, which is given by um, this right here. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to find the ones, the twos, um, the sign, and the magnitude of the number. There's just uh, three different ways to represent it. So let's go ahead and start with ones complement. Ones complement isn't used all that often. In fact, I usually just use it to get to twos complement. Um, the ones complement, uh, it's, it's just a way of representing a negative binary number. So... Let's go ahead and show you how to do this. With ones complement, given an unsigned binary number, uh, we can find the ones complement of that number just by flipping all the bits. And when I say flipping the bits, I mean you change a 1 to a 0, and you change a 0 to a 1. So let's go ahead and write down the ones complement of this number. So, 1, 1, 1 will change to 0, 0, 0. 0 will change to a 1. A 1 will change to a 0. A 0 will change to a 1. Do you see how I'm just flipping all these bits? It's completely opposite of this other number, right? So, let's go. I did that 0 and the 1, then I need to do two zeros, right? And then I need to do a 1. And then point one zero. Now that's how you find a 1's complement of this number. The only problem with 1's complement, you can't express quite as many bits uh, as you can with a twos complement, because uh, a ones complement is kind of a funny number system. There's a positive and a negative zero. So in computing, especially in microprocessors, we like to use twos complement. So to find a twos complement from a ones complement, you just have to increment one in the least significant bit. A lot of people will try and put that one here. That is uh, that's completely wrong. It'll give you a bunch of mumbo jumbo out of it. So what you want to do is always put a 1 incremented, meaning add a 1 into the least significant bit. If that means you have to carry a couple bits over, that's fine. Here we don't. We're just going to increment 1 in the least significant bit. This being the most significant bit, right? Because that's the largest number, that's the smallest number. So, let's go ahead and increment 1 in the least significant bit to find our 2's complement because I just added one to the least significant bit, right? So, that's our twos complement right there. Okay, now, given the number here, let's go ahead and find the sign and magnitude, say that this number was in a sign and magnitude form. So, we know that if the sign is a one, so for sign, if it's a one, that means that it's a negative number. If the sign is a zero, that means that it is a positive number. Now, in sign and magnitude form, we always take this most significant bit as the sign bit. So, the sign here is a one. Therefore, we can say it's a negative sign. And it's just as simple as that. You always get it from the number. You never get it from the ones and twos complement because everything's flipped and turned around, right? But... If we do it from the number, and we see that the first bit of that number is a 1, then we can say that it is a negative number. If the first bit of this one was a 0, then we can say that it's a positive number. But in this case, we definitely have a negative number here. Now the magnitude, the magnitude is given by all the numbers after that first bit. This is just in sign of magnitude form. But the magnitude is always given with all the numbers after that sign bit. So we know it's a negative number, and then we know that this is the magnitude after it. So let's go ahead and write down this number in magnitude form. And it's just that easy, guys. That is how to find sine and magnitude, ones and twos complement, uh, given any number. And hopefully that'll help you guys understand it on your test.
Uh, my name is Craig Robertson with uh, UNM IEEE. If you have any more questions or if you just need some help with homework, come and see us. We're in uh, the ECE building on UNM campus uh, in room 312. And uh, good luck. Happy studying.